Selecting a contractor. Working with a good contractor is critical for the success of your remodeling project. The best way to find a good contractor is through a recommendation. But if you don't have a recommendation, here are some ways to check your contractor's qualifications. Ask for references. Ask to see photos and or see actual completed projects. Check Better Business Bureau records, but some contractors don't have a Better Business Bureau file. Check any online reviews. Check for consumer affair license and records. Confirm the correct paperwork is in place, including all licenses, liability, and workers' comp insurance. Ask the contractor about his operation, who is involved, how many projects are going on simultaneously, how many employees, trucks, etc. You may want to compare pricing from more than one contractor, but if you find a person you feel is good and the price works with your budget, it's not necessary to get more proposals. Contractors' pricing depends on how much work they have. Keep in mind that you may find significant differences in price between different contractors, as this is not a price-regulated industry. Naturally, reputable contractors are busier and more expensive. There are four main types of general contractors we identified, which are suitable for residential remodeling projects. One, full-service contracting firms. These are firms which often have a showroom where you can purchase products and have a more established operation, including a back office and project managers. This service is very convenient, but may cost as much as double the actual contracting cost due to the higher overhead. Two, high-end contractors. These are contractors who are reputable, and usually the owner is quite good at dealing with homeowners, creating proposals, and managing the employees. This might be a good option, but often more expensive than the market price of contracting. Three, hands-on contractors. There are many contractors who are working with their own hands with a small crew, which could be great at actually getting the job done, but may not have a sales and marketing operation. It may be tough to find such a contractor, but if you do, this is usually the best value because you will not be paying extra for additional overhead or reputation. Four, subcontractors. This is usually not a great option, but if you want to act as your own general contractor, you can hire individual subcontractors on your own, like a plumber, electrician, tile man, etc. This option is not recommended at all since usually it does not really save time or money.